Hi, Hi. welcome. Everything is half off. No dice.
Like all those Easter things and all the figurines, I'm not going to even try to get into that. <clears throat> I think it says five. It does. Okay, it's kind of wrinkled up. Did y'all do this or there were these previous on here, these tapes? Um, I believe it was us. Okay. There. I didn't know if they were like old, like they had, like they were maybe trying to have a garage sale or something back in the <laughs> day. Two. No, I'm good. Thank you. Another blanket? It's for riding. Then there. Gotta be then there. Yeah. That's a giant plush. Yeah. It's ten bucks. Is it? It's so dirty. I wish it wasn't dirty. Yeah, you'd have to scrub it with your stuff. I get the moose sit on that. Yeah. Right. Look at the feet. So, um, <laughs> it smells funky in here. It's a cookie jar. That's really cute. Cop it real quick. It's just too heavy. All right. Let me tell him that. We're not going to go on the beer. No, no. Are you going to like me? Seventy five. Yeah. Where's Yeah. And I mean, they can go out this way, but it's still going to be hard. Yeah. I guess mean, you should put it on rollers. Doesn't seem like the. Kim. Put this on the shelf, golden shelf. Thank you. Thank you. 
That was the first thing up here that drew my eye. Weren't you looking for a case or something? For glasses? Yeah, glasses on my head. Yeah, I don't know if these are big enough. Yeah, they're right here. But look. I'm just looking for one that's like a... Nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there'll be 50 cents. Look, there's... There, oh, that's... Well, that's not really left, but... But look, there's different ones. You might want to grab just a couple of them. Yeah. This one, well, this one's... A little bit bigger. It's it's got the thing, but it's kind of raggedy a little bit. Yes. These are I'll grab these. Hmm. You check that tray up there. What tray? Um, I don't know. Wood in Germany tray. Uh, yeah, I think I see it. No, maybe not because I can't even see it. Oh, have you been around the corner? Yeah. Lots of books. Oh, did you find your ruler the other day? Because look, here's when it starts at the end. No. If well, you, I did find one, but it didn't start at the end. Because if, if you want this one, get it. If not, I'm going to grab it just so I have one. But it starts at zero. They've got this. I guess this is a porcelain. Probably a porcelain. Maybe it's ceramic or porcelain crab. Oh, man, it's been repaired. Like, I was going to buy this just because I thought it was cool. But it has been cracked. And, oh, looks like it's been repaired in more than one spot. So I'm not going to get it. Yeah, and there was a dimmy loon and a coffee table. Yeah, I'd see them. I saw them last week. That's right.
Did you look at that bag right there? That basket yeah. bag? Oh, wait, the handle's broken. Never mind. Which one, that Santa one? In the front of the house? Or the one I was just looking at? No. Oh. Nice travel back here yeah. for your cruises. Are you red? Yeah. Oh look, they got a turkey gravy boat. Cute. Uh -huh. I don't look at the motorcycle pig. Yeah, I would definitely check those. <laughs> right, I'm getting the happy ninja party button. Mm -hmm. If as long as it's not like more than fifty cents. Did you check the pigs? Did you check the pigs? I'll tell you what, eBay's not pulling up much today. Normally it does pretty good, but today I'm not having too much luck with eBay lens. Did you look at this? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of looking at like a bunch of stuff right here. Trying to comp some of this stuff. Going back in? Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting on you because my hands are full. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, I'm going to check out. Right. I, I, I tried to find that one. If I find it. it. Is the exact one? Yep. 
Okay, how much is it listed for? But it had so. I what? Like I almost grabbed yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. And they're I'm, doing deals. See, I almost gra grabbed it, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find the exact one. So for that, I would get it for that. Yeah. I these? These are mine right here. Oh. Yeah, these are nice, but I can't put 350 in each one of them. No. They're doing deals, she said. Oh, what about that? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I might get that. They give me a good deal on the Randy. The piggies don't want it. It's cute. We'll go get it. No, 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 wait. All right, so I got that. Just five. Mm -hmm. 50 cents, 50 cents. That was it, huh? This does not have a price. Y'all too, thanks. This does not have a price. Right, buy a belt and get that free. All right, I got this does not have a price. 50 cents. I'll put that in my pocket so don't get chilled. Right. Three, two, and one. Right. Is that it for you? That's it. Four dollars. Thank you. Some more I appreciate it. You know who would pick that up? Fat Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me show you what else I got. I might get that one. It's only five. Yeah. Is it fifty dollars? Uh-huh. You're sorting the sweet ones. Buy my coffee. Okay, I'm coming.
You? Hey, I don't see a y'all. There's the you. Jessica. There he is. There's the y'all. What you got? Found this outside. What you want to do with that? Yes. Just give me a dollar for it. So I, I don't know. Dollar. Okay. Hey, and where is the green pottery? It's not sitting on that table right there. Well, I'm not sure. No it's way. a bowl with a bunch of cups and stuff. A big old green ugly thing. Well, thank you. Thank you. Luckily. Figure out what it is. Let me know. 
this estate sale trip was not all that great. There were only three estate sales that we went to and there really just wasn't a whole lot there, which is really fine by me because I'm not hurting for inventory right now. From that first estate sale, you saw me pick up this vintage. It's a Disney, Disney, well, it just says Disney exclusive on the tag. It's a Tigger Frankenstein, like a plush fabric, um, I don't know, Halloween jack-o'-lantern or whatever. Now this item does not work. It has the little button right here that you're supposed to push and these two lights light up. I don't know if it makes any noise or not. Unfortunately, there is no way that I can find to change the batteries in this. I'm guessing they think it just was going to have a very finite amount of time that people were going to use it and then maybe throw it away. But either the batteries are located here in this headlight area or maybe right here on the switch. But either way, without ripping the fabric, there's no way to change the batteries. Comps on this. On this particular one, I found one that a best offer was taken something below $28. I didn't go look on um, Terapeak or product research to see how much it went for, but it was less than $28 with free shipping. I found a very similar one that also had Tigger, but he was, I don't know, he was something else. And on that one, it sold for $20 plus shipping. On that particular listing, it mentioned in the description that the lights did not function. So, I don't know. I need to clean this one up a little bit. It's looking a little bit dingy. Maybe I can get $18 or $20 for it. I don't know, but I'm going to list it and see. I found these fleece camouflage pants, which I don't remember what the comps were, maybe $12 or $14. I'm probably going to keep these for myself. What size were they? They're a large 36 to 38, so these will fit. I don't wear long pants very often, maybe to a funeral, a wedding, or church, and that's about it. I will occasionally wear them in the wintertime if it's, I mean, really super cold, but here in the deep south, it doesn't get cold very often. So I can usually count on one hand the amount of times that I wear long pants just due to it being cold. But I do think I'm going to keep these for myself, being that they were only about $250, and it'll give me another pair of pants to wear around the house. And the last item I found there was this Have a Great Day Mickey Mouse mug. It is a Jerry Lee design. And you'll notice in the handle, it has a spot, which I'm guessing is to put a spoon because I did see a sold listing that had a spoon included. I looked at the details of this listing and it did not say if it was the original spoon that maybe came with the mug or if it's just one they added. So if I can find a red spoon that will fit to try to complete this, I'll do that. If not, I may just have to sell it without having the spoon with it. The one I just showed you sold for $22.50 in Canadian dollars. And it's the only one that I saw recently that sold. And it was $22.50 plus shipping. I think I only paid a dollar for the mug. Maybe if I can put another buck or so into it with the spoon, I might be able to get pretty decent money on it. The next estate sale was 50% off, or at least it was supposed to be. And then we heard while we were there that it was 65% off. So I picked up this. It's, I think it's technically called a braided western belt whenever i was young we used to wear these we just called them roping belts i really like the colors it kind of has that 80s look to it it's probably not from the 80s i would guess it's probably from the 90s i think nakona still makes these if i'm not mistaken but these were really popular at least around here in the 90s and i had several of these now this one's never going to fit me it's kind of small for either a really skinny person or a kid and it's probably not worth all that much but I think he charged me a dollar for it. Well, as a matter of fact, everything that I'm showing you at this estate sale was only $4. So it was probably a dollar minus 65%. I also picked up the two Mardi Gras mugs. These are brand new. They still have the stickers on the bottom. As a matter of fact, these mugs are from Attico International, which Attico is the company that makes the funny... Well, there may be more than one company that makes funny face mugs, but Attico makes mugs with faces on them and they're not super valuable maybe 10 or 12 bucks but it's the same company and i think somebody might like to have a set of these mardi gras mugs they were only marked 50 cents so i don't know 18 cents per mug or something like that couldn't really pass them up and i'm going to sell those as a set i don't know what the deal with this is happy ninja birthday pin and it does still make noise
So this battery is definitely tired in here. Just thought it was neat. And I think he just threw that in and didn't charge me anything. I tried comping this best of the Chris Rock show volume one and volume two. I didn't see anything at the estate sale, but with it being only marked a dollar and basically at this point, I've got 35 cents into it. I picked it up. I did comp it just a few minutes ago and somebody, well, there's a seller on eBay selling. He sold, I don't know, a whole bunch of them and he's selling them for $6 and 77 cents with free shipping. And he's got a lot more available to buy. So I'm not really going to make much on this. It could be something that would be better off for me to just keep it and watch it. Because I'm really not going to be able to make hardly any money on it after shipping. I wasn't sure what this was. It's made by Treasure Craft. And I saw quite a few of these listed. This one says Boston, Massachusetts on it. But they say lots of different things here in the middle. I saw several of these listed as MCM ashtrays. And it does look like an ashtray. Prices vary between maybe the mid to high teens up to 20 something dollars. So I decided to pick that up and see if I can get a few bucks for it. This wallet is a Maxpedition brand wallet. And I don't know if you are familiar with Maxpedition, but it's, it's pretty decent quality products. They're kind of on the tactical-ish side, a lot of their stuff. And this had a sole comp of $20 plus shipping. I didn't even look this up at the estate sale because I already know about Maxpedition. So this will probably end up being a $18 or $20 seller. The last thing from that estate sale is this napkin holder and salt and pepper set. I didn't really get this for resale. I would like to take this and redo it. I don't know. I don't think I would say restore, but it's kind of dirty. I don't think it's going to clean up very well to resell. And they basically go for between $10 and $20 in used condition. But because it is dirty and there's markings on the wood, I would like to take it and just sand it down, refinish it, not paint it some crazy color, but basically refinish it in the same color that it's in and just keep it here at the house for me to use. And the last item is this pan that I picked up from the last estate sale that I didn't really know what it was. I did see this listing right here where it says this is a vintage, very rare, the French chef omelet pan, 1970s divided three portions, Denmark. I don't think that's accurate because it took a little looking around, but I found a Reddit thread where someone else was basically asking what this pan is. And the consensus was that it is a crepe pan. I don't really know exactly what a crepe is. I'm, I don't think I've ever eaten one but it looks like that's probably what it is. Now this eBay listing has it listed for $160. It could be worth that, but I'm guessing that it's probably not. The pan has enough weight to it that I'm pretty sure that this is stainless steel, not aluminum, but the inside of it is a very rough texture, a lot rougher than I would expect it to be. It may be some type of non-stick coating. I just don't know. But, of course, I'm going to hope that this pan turns out to be a $160 pan, especially considering I only spent $1 on it. But I'm not going to hold out too much hope that it will. Maybe it'll be a specialty pan that's so rare that someone's willing to pay up for it. But more than likely, in my experience, it'll just be a weird pan that nobody wants. So it'll sit for a long time and not sell. But because I only have $1 into it, it's not that big of a deal. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.